Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to it, man. Just Incredible's Liftoff Show. We right here in Los Angeles, California, coming to you live from the Power 106 studios. I got my brothers in the building, man. It's about to be a, a an epic night, man, to close out the year. Straight up. The hits are here, man. Wow. Whoa, Big hits. hit and hit boy. My God, what's the deal? Man, it's a beautiful, beautiful occasion to have y'all here, man. Wow, no, for sure. For sure. Appreciate you having us. Man. All the time. All the time. Leveling up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing it your way. All around. Doing it our way Uh to close out, you know, 2023. Uh, We just released Big Hit's new album, his debut album. The truth is in my eyes, The truth is here. Only available on BigHitNoopit.com, Talk about it. Give it to him one more time. I mean, only available on BigHitNoopit.com. I've been through too much in the game, man. You know what I mean? Just to let my pops get caught up in these same systems that I've been, you know, accustomed to or dealing with since I was a teenager. You know what I mean? I'm a... You know, I'm getting that LG status now, so right. it's like ain't no reason to even play with it. It's just, you know, different ways of thinking. So we really just empowering ourselves. Love that. With this. Yeah. I love that. Really taking the power into your own hands on this one. 100. So to release this project, you know, that was one thing that immediately made it special to me was like you can't go on Spotify or Apple Music and get it right away. Mm-hmm. The experience of it's Bandcamp, right? Bandcamp, yep, exactly. And physical CDs. And physical CDs. Right. How have y'all felt this process has been? Because you're kind of like breaking new ground here from the norm right now. Yeah. Big, big hit. How, how do you like this process? I don't I don't know. The, I, don't, I really don't. I'm not hip to the process. This proud or the old proud. No. Right. I, all I know is it's booming. It's booming. Like, yeah. The reaction's been good. They was pulling up. At each sign, event. Signing CDs yeah. all damn day. Congrats, yeah, man. You know. Yeah, we was throwing yeah. events. We threw events all weekend. Yeah. And everyone was city a, popping a success, out, man, for sure. You know, he came out with a magazine that you can access the album through as well. You can get that on the website, and it, it's actually a, a three song EP in the mag that's just exclusive to the mag. Word. So, so it's really like you know, seventeen songs on the album, but three extra ones through the mag. So twenty big hit joints, man. Twenty big you know hit joints. Man. Okay, so. How about for you though, Hit? Like you have seen, you've been a part of both both rollouts, right? Right. How how are you, how has this experience been from you? Just doing the physicals out the trunk, like straight independent. Man, for me, bro, it's a it's a it's a great feeling, man. I really feel like you know sometimes, man. Like if you ain't got that right budget behind you, and you just ain't got that that certain momentum they're expecting you to have to mm-hmm. be on the top of you know the playlist on whatever you know right. the platform it may be you know, you feel kind of powerless, you know what I mean? And Facts. it's like, damn, like, you might hear a song that you feel like, man, I know my shit harder than this, but <laughs> they got their shit lined up, so it's like, it is what it is, but with this, it's like, we like shooting and letting, letting them come to us. We yeah. letting them find us, man, and it's, uh, I mean, obviously, we hustling, yeah. going out, promoting, and I doing see what it. we gotta do, but Non-stop. we like, you know, whoever really rocking with us, we about to really find out through this process. Facts, facts. 20 songs so in total now between the magazine on the EP and the 17 on the project. Right. Right. Uh, you know, features on the joint from Snoop Dogg, J Stone, Dom Kennedy, Benny the Butcher. I mean, you're Alchemist. coming out swinging. Alchemist. 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 Yes, Jay sir. Worthy, so. Killer Twine, yeah. RJ. Mm. Talk to me about the creative process, man, of this project because you've been home. Congrats on Welcome Home, Big Hit. Look, seven look. months now. Yeah. You know yep. what I'm saying? Talk to me about the process on creating your first project. Shit, man, I mean, you no, know, it's been just, I mean, it's just been a, a a breeze and just like a fight at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We on cruise control, but we we got our foot to the flow. Absolutely. We on foot to the flow, but we on cruise control. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, goddamn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we mashing full speed ahead. We just having fun, man, and, and just, you know, having freedom. He gave me, you know, let me just do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And uh, niggas is just... Fucking with just it. Just pulling really. up and basically, you no, know, just trying to uh, trying to fuck with me. Every 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 feature on the project, you know what I'm saying, is organic, authentic. Yeah, yeah. Um some really great names on, on on this project with you, man. Talk about yeah. some of uh, you know what I'm saying, the features on the project. Now, I feel honored, man. I mean, you know, I didn't I didn't like I went and picked them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They they pulled up and I just felt honored that, you know, Snoop, shout out Snoop, my nigga, you know, shot his best. 
You know what I'm saying? Nigga Benny, man, shout out my nigga Benny, my nigga, one foot in, one foot out. Come on, come on, um, come on. Yeah, my nigga, uh, man, uh, Jay Worthy, man, we got a whole motherfucking uh, album, bro. Me and RJ got a whole album. Uh, T Fly, we got a whole album, my nigga. You saying like another more? Yeah, a whole album. I not know one one of them on each song. Like literally, he got 10 plus songs with each of these artists. More, man, like 14. Nah, this is just over the last seven months. Like people pulling up. And that's inspiring me because you know I'm like a workhorse yeah, myself. I know. So seeing him now, it's like okay, this is where I get it from. Exactly. And I gotta stay on my shit because it's like he like he knocking him out. Like it's like before, like if if somebody come through and be like, yo, big hit, hop on this song. They don't. It's not even playing ten seconds before he got his phone out or he thinking like writing a rap. He don't even wait for the whole song to play and decide if he like it or not. He just like going. You want me to fuck with it? If it's hard, like I'm gonna rock with it. Jump yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that? your process like when inside like how how, how was your like were you just writing all the time yeah no nah, I just you know, got in the habit of just writing being isolated in, in the shoe you know being locked down no no privileges that was my that was my getaway yeah yeah you know what I'm saying that my escape that was my recreation I was starting to be my everything you feel me I bet. shout out to Baby Stone Gorillas too. Like, for sure shout out Baby Stone yeah, Gorillas shout out to I, like, I like the way that video come in too yeah. cause you would like introduce them and they go crazy yeah like, for sure and we got a whole album we got a whole album too man we, damn you Gorillas, really cooking you know, <laughs> nah for real it's stupid let's talk about oh go ahead B no, no, I, yeah I just wanted to say like obviously you know you guys family to the core I just want like I just love the relationship y'all got for real it's inspiring wow. your pops and stuff um, I just want to know what y'all learn from each other on different realms right like you learn like hit you probably learned something like a lot of things from him from life what was yeah. the biggest lesson you learned and then big hit just from him in the industry was something that you learned so far you know what I'm saying I mean like I just was saying man just like the the work ethic man it's like I really just like I'm getting to know my roots. This is this is therapy. This is mm. making up for lost time. It's a lot of things at one time, but it's just like just watching him, seeing his movements and the way he locked in. I just really see where I get it from. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, man. How about yeah. you, Hip? Big oh hip? man, uh, shit, there's so many. Just like I guess one, I guess I could probably relate to is, is him. I he just made me just realize that probably perfection is, is has no end. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't never just put a cap on perfecting something. You know what I'm saying? You would think it's, once you think it's over, like, it can't get no better, this nigga will go up and turn it up another level. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be like, God damn. So I just stopped questioning him. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Just kick back and then ride the wave. Ride you know what I'm saying? That's right. Trusting yep. each other, huh? Yep. Yeah, when I press play on this CD, I'm like, you rapping like you 21, my uh, boy. Yeah, you I'm You swinging God. on this shit. Yeah. 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 Yep. I am, my nigga. Facts, that part. I just like how you come so aggressive each bro. time. We just, you the just game been here. needing that. The you game been needing that. Yeah. That '90s era. Again. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. hard. Talk to me about the artwork for the project, man. All the pictures and all that, man. Uh, nah, I just shit. You know, I was doing when I was bored in the yeah. cell. You know what I'm saying? Just, just clowning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? And and the back, you you literally all that track list is your handwriting. Yeah, all that. Yo, that's fire, man. Striking up. That's all dope. That. Well, not this, but the truth is in my I eyes. I seen the the merch yeah. though. They can get the merch on the website as well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah drop merch, that as well yeah. for Big Hit Noop. Big Noop. Hit Noop. Com. Man, it's a crazy story of like father and son. Yep. So many beautiful messages in this, man. Oh God, and shout out my daughter, my nigga, Hit Girl Lena, my nigga. We got a whole project coming out. She hard as okay. fuck. Okay, that's a little me. Affair. Sure. Yeah, nah, sure. <laughs> it's a fair. We all <laughs> running, man. <laughs> Yo, yeah, shout out C3, my nigga. This shit is real empire, no Lucius, my nigga. That part, that real, part. Man. I know it's got to feel good to see, you know, your grandson as well, being that, you know, you were in when he was born. I remember speaking a hit about Ooh. that and him talking to me a little bit off the air about just the feelings and the emotions of that. What was it like coming out and, you know, I, I get the feeling this is your little best friend now, you know what I'm saying? Man, hell yeah, yo, yeah. That's little me, man. It's, it's spooky, like, you know what I'm saying? He... You know, he, he, he a little grown man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how I was acting at his age. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's to see it all over again. It's, it's like deja vu. Yeah. Yeah. In doing it like this, independently, out the trunk, yeah. really like taking the power into your own hands, what do you feel, what's the difference in 
the value that people you are seeing, like the the the, the response they're getting from, yeah. you know, going on the website, getting a magazine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think we've been accustomed to just shit's here today, gone nah, tomorrow. Sure, when you sure. go online yeah. and just check yeah. out some shit. Yeah. yeah, even in that perspective, it's just like I don't feel the same pressure that I would feel. Like, man, we gotta we gotta make sure our song is streaming out the ass, so we stay on the top of rap caviar. We right. do this and that, and it's just like. You know, that's cool, but, like, you know, that's everybody got their lane. So, like, we just, you know, we wanted to carve it out and just do something that made people just think, you know what I mean? Like, I see people hitting me from, you know, on Twitter to mm. IG, even to real life. The events we threw, like, yo, this is this is, this is is refreshing, you know what I mean? To take me back to that era. Like, it's young people around me that may be, you know, taking pictures of me and shit that never even opened a CD before, you know what I mean? So, real shit. giving them that experience real at the shit. same time, is like, it's been dope. That's how I felt yesterday at the event man just wow, felt good wow, grab that vinyl yeah, grab that cd uh, peep you know take a picture so like up. and just to see all y'all there too man yeah. like y'all all like it's a Y'all signing stuff. Yeah, shout out Alk, man. Alchemist, yeah, man. He got... Hell yeah, shout he, out Alchemist. Alchemist signing the, the yeah. joint, you know what I'm saying? Straight you know I mean? up. Yeah, for, I mean, you know, the way he didn't embrace the movement and rock with Big Hit and gave him a beat for the album. Like, man, psh, everybody who locked in with us has just been straight, just off Family. Of love, man. Yeah, off love, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, that, that uh, uh, Sleeping in the Darkness, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was like, when you came on there rapping, bro, or, that, was, that was fire. It was dope to see, like, you... Breaking out the producer circle because it just kind of took you to early Kanye when Kanye was trying to become a rapper. Mm -hmm. like, Don't try to box me in. Straight up. So it's yeah. like. What can we expect from you as a rapper, like moving forward? Man, man, more projects. I dropped two projects of my own in 2023 and 24. I'm coming with most shit, more me and Big Hit uh, music. And uh, me and Alchemist got a crazy album together, like going back and forth over each other beats. And I think it's going to be, I think the world going to rock with it. Yeah. Do you do you, do you must have unlocked a way to find more than twenty four hours in a day? Like how Man. are y'all doing this right well, I now? I feel like I only, I feel like I only got. 10 hours in a day like yeah. the way I, I was like always something to do right. whether we interviewing we right. in a session it's just like family man moving. there's a lot of no, things exactly, going on for sure so I mean you know we, we just I just max out every day bro just do as much as I can the truth uh, in my eyes is the album Big Hit what is the biggest truth you learned or one of the biggest truths you learned while being in jail for so long man never give up I don't give a fuck you know, to your last breath. Even in your last breath, nigga, I died and came back. Mm. You feel me? So I'm living proof. Yeah, living proof. You know what I'm real. saying? I'll never give up. My nigga, my niggas is in the pen. Shout out my niggas that just bounced back and just got, you know, I was the inspiration for them where they was like, fuck it, I'm going to die in here. You know what I'm saying? And now they, they, they like, see bro, that. yeah, like my nigga. You know what I'm saying? They in the law library sure. now, They and they got dates. You know what I'm saying? They got court dates and shit it's beautiful so yeah and then what about like getting out because i know my cousin just got out a few months ago as well he's up in san quentin um he like i know when you get out it's hard to adapt to regular life again mm. you know what i'm saying is there something you found that was the hardest to adapt to just getting back out uh yeah just like not really just going on like I don't want like with shopping sprees or some mm -hmm. shit like this going to buy what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like at at the right given time. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm getting what the fuck I want. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. I'm spoiled rotten. That part. But I'm saying like as a man, like I should be looking out for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Type shit. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know on the, on yeah. the level that I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? It's just a process, of just baby steps. But I know I'm gonna get there. Like it's a roadmap at this. Point. Sure. Yep. Sure. Man, round of applause for, you know, the Grammy nominated, the producer of the year, man. Whoa, whoa. Hey, I see your come up, bro. It's been it's been beautiful to to watch this journey, man, and yeah. tapping in with you, you know what I'm saying, every every couple of weeks over the years, man. Mm -hmm. I'm proud, happy for you. I mean Appreciate talk that. to me about this moment, man, as those as those nominees rolled out, man. Man, psh, that moment when I got that uh Cause I like I usually a be up And I see like Soon as they post But I like overslept For some reason that morning oh, Wasn't even thinking about it You know what I mean You know you can never guarantee A Grammy nom nomination or win So it's that like part. When I woke up And I just seen Flood of text messages And DMs And posts You know what I mean First thing I did I called my mom And I was like I ain't even expected Bro I just broke down You know what I mean Cause it's just like Just going back to my perspective On the game And it's like 
I don't I don't feel like I got none of the clout based nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing. I'm strictly you. If you nominate me, it's off the music. Straight I don't up. got no best friend that's <laughs> like <laughs> top <laughs> of charts. I ain't got that's no. I don't, you know what I mean? That I don't have like some super powerful management firm behind me. Right. None of that. I'm just thugging and making music, and for them to to honor me just for the uh, nomination alone, bro. I feel like that's a huge W. Yeah, yeah. And I want yeah. I want to point out that in uh, the category, you're the you're the only producer that's put out six albums. Am I? Saying wow, that right, wow. six albums wow. this year. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk to them about that. I, the consistency. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That. That, that's, that's a crazy the thing. The truth is in my eyes. Is that seven? <laughs> <laughs> that would be, right? I guess that was about so tall, nigga. That's different. Uh, no, that's, that's in there. That's, that's definitely that's one of the six. Oh, yeah, yeah but been, for sure, Nas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We did. We did three Nas albums in the last year. We did two Surfer Drown albums. We did Truth Is in My Eyes, Music Soul Child. So that's what that's. That's that's it. Seven so, joints. Wow, yeah, crazy. That's a lot of songs. That's a testament I, to your work ethic, man. Word, word, love. I mean, I I have fun doing it, bro. So it's like it ain't even a job. Like this shit is like this is a part of me. It's the lifestyle. First yeah. time nominated though, man. No, no, First definitely not. Nominated. Yeah, we gotta take the dub. We gotta get the W this man, time, yeah. no, You know what yeah. I mean? We didn't take it home last time and respect everybody. Mm -hmm. But we got you know we, we want that W. Period. Another fact that should be known is you know, in all the music you're co you're uh, nominated for a few several grammys this year mm. you own your masters in all of these joints right well i mean as far as the stuff that i put out through surf club i don't own the nine stuff you know obviously but right. just like half of that mm -hmm. that i'm nominated that that got me nominated for producer of the year is stuff that i put out through my own label you know what i mean funded <sighs> put money up funded you know blood sweat and tears man so that yeah that definitely felt good surfer drown for real yeah i mean that's a beautiful thing coming from the system that you've you know, made it out of in a sense and yeah. been dealt with over the right, years. Right, right. Uh, it hasn't been all shiny like that. Oh yeah, nah, for sure. You already know we didn't. I didn't came up here and chopped it. <laughs> for about, sure. You know, personal shit that you know a lot of people wouldn't put on the forefront. But I'm an open person. And, yeah. You know, that go back to the truth is in my eyes. I can't hide the truth. Like he tells me, like he wears heart on his sleeve, and I'm you know pretty much the same way. Like I. You know, I can't, I can't hide the truth. Like you gonna know. People have told me, like, bro, I know when something is on going on with For you. For sure, oh yeah. From your expressions, your demeanor, and uh, yeah, that's just what it is. No doubt. I wanted to talk and dive a little bit deeper into that because I feel like there's parallels to both systems oh, that y'all yeah. have been fucked over in. One hundred. Right? Yeah. Can we speak on that a little bit? I mean, just the fact that he went into the prison system at 19, and I signed my first bad deal hmm. at 19 that I'm still in to this day and going into 2024 so it's like you know we not both not 2019 the age of 19 right yeah exactly yeah. So that was 2007 when I signed this deal and uh yeah just having to really push and stay motivated through you know times where it's like man I know what I should be getting or what I should be able to negotiate for myself but Fact. I signed this contract when I was a kid and it's kind of just hold me back and you know in a sense and you know at the end of the day I feel like man this it led me to this point you know what I mean we was being pops we try to get you know four projects done before we get a nice little momentum and then boom he locked back up so yeah. it just like I feel like everything that happened to me led me to you know, empowering myself and my pops, you know, for it to be his first album and this is the one where I'm in, at the place where I want to do exactly. this. It's, it's perfect timing. Meant to be that way. Mm -hmm. Big Hit, can you speak on that as well? You know, some of the, you know. It's, I mean, the similarities, I mean. <clears throat> what you've I feel like, yeah, we both just isolated ourselves, you know what I'm saying, and uh, and really locked in on that music as in separate time zones. It's like yeah. he was on the street, I was in the pen. You know what I'm saying? He was locked in in the booth. I was locked in in the cell. You know what I'm saying? The cell was my booth. And at the same time, the people around him was using him for a stepping stone, you know, eating off him, the same shit with me. And not only that, holding him back and holding me back, like from just, you know, my natural rights, just nigga shit, shit I got feel obligated, you know, feel uh, entitled to, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. My, my freedom, you know what I'm saying? And and same shit with him. He wasn't locked down, but he is basically a, a, his, in a his, type of, his freedom uh, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His freedom mm -hmm. in a sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I feel is a similarity. How many joints you think you wrote in the pen, man? Like fucking thousands. I mean, you know they they don't took so much from me, and threw it away. So that's I had to always crazy. start over, my nigga. Like, 
I done did five years and start over, two years, start over, like... Did you have something you wrote that was really, like, deep to your heart that he was like, damn, everything? Everything. Yeah, fuck yeah. Probably yep. everything. Can't remember it. Yeah. Like, he had to get, like, medical slips and, like, stuff that they yeah. legally couldn't take away from him. Because if he wrote it on a regular paper, they'd come take it, throw it away. So they you, they couldn't take the medical slips and shit. So he'd write the raps around the words that's already wow. on the page. You wow. Know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's unreal. I remember meeting you briefly when you came home the first time. And can you speak a little bit on the situation as to what happened when you went back in? Uh, on this one? Yeah. Oh, shit. I, uh, I had a hit and run. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I got some, had some acres up there in Humboldt County. I grow. I brought some trees down. Niggas tried to get me. We shook and got to run a red lights. And we ended up crashing, jumped out running and they ended up getting the bread, the weed, everything, and uh, you know, but the other people in the car was hurt. So, and I didn't, I didn't have no time to go over there and check, but that was, they felt was uh, the violation. Mm. Me not checking on the people, but how could I, nigga? Shit, motherfuckers right, shoot, see. nigga. I'm out of here. Come on. I ain't finna stop for nothing. Right. And uh, and I stood on that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They was salty about it, cause it was, they felt like it was no remorse. Mm. But how can I have remorse, nigga? I'm. I'm I'm, Fighting for yourself. Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't have knowledge. Nobody was hurt. It was instantaneous. When the shit happened, boom, we all jumped out and got yeah. on. Yeah. Niggas just doing this, and they got the shit and got on, and you know, and, and just like that. And, uh, when, when, when you, when, so from that point, how long were, was that s- sentence supposed to be? Because correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I just felt like really it was supposed to be like two years. It was a hit and run, right? But yeah, they, they was with some extra shit once they found out who I was and who he was and tried to squeeze a situation out of something with the lawsuits. And you know, they offered me time serving. All kind of shit. Try to hit a nigga with a fourteen million dollar lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? They scandalous, bro. Between the judges and the, the lawyers, the DAs, the motherfuckers was gonna split the bread. Mm. It was all about cash. And uh, when you, that's you know, fucking he, so crazy, he was, man. He was, he was in my car. That's why yeah. I got caught up. I got tied up in it because they, you know, may try to basically say like, tell us that I yeah. that I gave him. He wanted me to say that he. With. He had knowledge that I was a Doing. convicted felon, mm. you know what I'm saying? And I had these priors and all this other shit, and he shouldn't have never let me use the car. But he didn't have knowledge I used any. I took the motherfucker anyway. I had free access to anything in the fucking house. My son, right. nigga. So, but, yeah, but they were salty about that, and they tried to squeeze it. And when they found out he couldn't, they just... Threw me, to the, threw me to the wolves. And kept extending you know it and extending uh, it. They stretched me. They just kept giving me, giving me like five charges for one act. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, he ran all of it, Bola. It gave me like five different sentences for one charge. <laughs> Actually, one crash. It gave me five, di- and sentenced me five different times. And I told you, you can't do this, man. It's multiple judge. punishment. Yeah, the judge. Um, and, See, this is this is the 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 shit we was talking and, about, the bullshit. And, and in and the I system. ended up getting later, you know. So they kept mm. me five years over. So. I got a major lawsuit right now. I'm just trying to see what lawyer I'm going to get. Okay, <laughs> yeah, for sure, with for sure. Known, Big Hit, uh, do you got plans like to work with some kind of coalition or something? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, nah, we got a, you know, we got a, you know, I got the KKE shit going on. Uh, ain't booming right now with the career criminal entertainment. You know, fucking with all the homies in the pen. Niggas I got out, we going to be doing some shit, some non-profit shit. So, <clears> you know. Something, and, something, oh, something else that just goes like, don't really get publicized is how much music gets listened to in the in the pan. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all are really up there listening. Y'all got like a little like streaming service. Yeah, there. hell yeah. <clears throat> uh, what was some stuff you was listening while you was up there that was just like helping you just stay stay level? Uh, shit, I didn't get the privilege of uh, you no know, that privilege. Didn't right tap there. in like that. Yeah, I was always on restrictions, so you know what I'm saying. And then when I did, you know, I had to like buy a phone and you know. It was illegal, and uh, I just kept that on the low. And I, when I did, I just go to YouTube and I look at the beats, hear the beat. He sent me his beats, and I mm-hmm. lock in, and you know, that's dope, oh, dope man. Go on the, go on the voice recorder and send it to him. That's how I got on the surf of drown one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. What I'm saying off the voice recorder, my nigga. 
Big Hit and Hit Boy are both here. The new project is out right now. The website where people could copy it right now. Big Hit Nupit, N-U-P-I-D, Big Hit Nupit.com, man. Rock with us. Run that. Run that up. Run that up. An amazing Valid. project. You can get the merch on there as well as the magazine Everything. you mentioned. The mag and the hoodies, the CDs, ASAP Yams, tees, man. ASAP Yams, tees. Yeah, the truth is in my eyes. bandanas on there, too. Big Hit bandanas. You know what I mean? It's enterprise, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a big hit! At what point did you realize your son was out here on fire, though, uh, both as as an artist and producer? Probably when I got out the hole. Uh, so I don't remember what that year. That first time. Yeah, the first mm-hmm, time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, nah. Really, his mama told me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She was like, "Nigga, you, you want to be a part of this? Nigga, you tripping? <laughs> like, you can get your ass out the street. They can call you a big ass house, motherfucker. Get out the streets. Like, she tried to lace me up, pull me in. I yeah. was like, just too far gone. Understood. You know I couldn't sit still. I was trying to get it. Understood. I wanted to buy a house, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course. You so felt, you felt like just the pressure of like your son just being so successful. You didn't want to. Not really. The pressure is just me knowing how, what I can get and how I can get it and what I done did in the past. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just my hustles, man, up there. My nigga, if I really want to get to it, I can get to it. But it's just the fucking risk. Ain't, it ain't worth it. I can't afford it. I don't want to be taken away from this and this and this. this too pre- that's This mean more than them bread right now. My nigga, no, I can swallow it right now. Yeah, no you know doubt. What I'm saying? He spoiled me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Enough. You know, I can sit in the booth. You know what I'm saying? I, Zone out yeah, right to the beach. I have a and- pocket full of money and won't eat all fucking day. I just forget to eat just from just just being a habit from being starving so long in the fucking pen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God, just drinking water and shit and I'll be right back full. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hearing some real authentic stories, man. I'm thankful for both of y'all oh, coming through tonight and really like giving us this this breakdown. I was looking forward to this conversation for a minute. Oh, straight up. Uh, hit, hit Boy, you shared a note from your phone manifesting a Rihanna single wow. and like three songs with Nas, uh, yeah, yeah. which has now turned into over three nah, albums. Like Six albums. Six yeah. albums and multiple. Talk about the word manifestation right. and, you know, that whole process, bro. Man, I started really learning about manifesting. Uh, shout my homegirl, Esther Deem. She a dope artist, songwriter, you know what I mean? She she really put me up on, like, stuff like The Secret and all that. And then I just started really just, just implementing it. It's funny, I just had a conversation at night and... Uh, I was saying how like I manifest a lot through my raps, you know yeah. what I mean? Before I had Rolexes, I was rapping about Rolexes. Before I had <laughs> cribs and whips and shit, and you know now I'm rapping about Pop staying home on on his album and shit. Just manifesting these situations is really real. It's powerful. Yeah, yeah, big time. You got anything else in that notepad you want to share with us? I, uh, I probably got. I probably got. Man, I got. What's a lot. on that wish list, I got, man? I got a lot. That vision man, board. Man, the wish list at this point is just like. You've done more, so much. More empowerment, man. Like yeah. doing my own shit. More projects with, with with my with my people. Like just like shit that we can control and not feel like we giving up our rights or like you know helping other people super build their platform and they give us pennies and man, crumbs facts. for it. So it's like you know we going we we running this brick by brick and I, f- I feel great about what, you know what's going on. Do you look back at some of the conversations with with the late great Nip and think oh, oh man that's course. what he was like you know what I'm even saying just watching him yeah definitely conversations but just watching him you yeah. know what I mean like you know we really got to see some powerful like you know the proud to pay like that's kind of like really similar to what the model you know what yeah. i mean ours is out the trunk we out the trunk with it so same concept but you know i like how he just really took a strong hold on like this is my brand this is how i want to move this is what i want to do i you know it wasn't even streaming back then when he did right. the crenshaw joint it was just itunes right but he held it from itunes which was the equivalent to you what know we're doing right now exactly the, yeah. so it's like you know that was uh it just lets you know that it's possible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever your background is, whatever your story is, if it's real, if it's authentic to people who's supposed to tap in with you, they're going to tap in. You got a favorite Nas project and album that you did together? Is that Can you narrow it down? Man, I got a couple, but I mean, I would have to say KD3 and Magic 3, I feel like is the they, they finished off both of the series. Um, and I just feel like that was the, the top notch of what we could do in those series. And uh, it's crazy because... 
all three King's diseases have been nominated for Grammys. That's right. The first one won, second one didn't win, and now KD3. Here we go. We're going to see yeah. in February. That would be a blessing. We got to run that. Got to win that. We need, we, need, we, need, we, need, we need two W's at night, Let's man. I'm, I'm super looking forward I to it. I can't wait for you, lie. my boy. If it's coming down to music, man, I'm going to just, you know, just leave it there. Yeah, I, yeah, we're yeah. talking about just strictly music. I just think, you know, they got to rock with us, man. Out of all the hits, man, what's the best Hit Boy produced song you feel? Oh, that's a bad, that's a hard <laughs> question. Yeah. That's too vague. I'll be, I'll be blanking out when people ask me that type of shit. I, <laughs> too I, many. I can't, I can't call it, man. Like, uh, Racks in the Middle was a, you know, that was a great moment. That whole, obviously, rest Paris. in peace, Nick. Paris, of course. Paris, for sure. Um, tracks with Beyonce, tracks with Rihanna. Yeah, I mean, Come bro, on. I mean, I Nicki appreciate Minaj. it. All. I just love music, yeah. period, bro. Yeah. So any, name, bro. anything I do that uh, inspires me and inspires the people that's in the room, yeah. you, know, I'm, you know, I love it. Yeah, 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 man. Real quick, you said you, said you got more, more that's music. Sickle with, like, that's sickle mode. That's sickle mode crazy as fuck. That, you know, you respect and love on the way. We got to bring up half a mil. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, Dom! Shout out, Dom is on the yeah. truth is in my eyes too. Yeah. That's that's, that's family. That's that's real. Yeah, exactly. Man, we got joints. Me and Dom, we stay recording. We we got, <laughs> Look out. we got years worth of joints stacked up. You know, it's just Dom. He be he in his own world. OPM, my nigga. So you know, whenever uh, when the time is whenever right. he tap in, I'm, I'm always available. I just hope for the sake of all the players out there, man. Y'all draw some around. You yeah. know what I'm May. Uh, May. Uh, That's our time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Shout down, man, for sure. Big hit when you heard the message from Snoop Dogg, you know what I'm saying, and the feature on the project. Like, what was that moment like for you? He was really kicking some game, man. Oh, yeah. That's that's the big homie, man. I, I appreciate him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like talking to my big brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, on some real shit, not mm-hmm. trying to just tell me what the fuck to do. It's just he, that nigga lived the experience so he can. You know what I'm saying? It's coming from experience and not, you know, the real genuine love, just not trying to floss. You know what I'm saying? Niggas a real nigga. Shout out Snoop. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Super genuine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're familiar with the artist BG, Cash Money? Of course. I just wondered, like, you know, he's got a similar situation just coming out. Right. Is there any talk that, you know, y'all might, you know, get in the studio at some point and chop it up and maybe record some magic? I think that would be fire. No, I haven't heard yeah. shit, but that'll be booming. Yeah, that'll be hard for sure. I mean, I seen he uh, he actually put a freestyle out over a beat I did for I think Big Sean. It was it was some right. beat I did for yeah. That's he right. put out a yeah. freestyle, so I'm like, bro, come on, come it's get it from right. the source, man. Yeah. Fuck the YouTube. I'm That's right. I'm right here if you want a real Hit Boy beat. You know what I mean? That's for right. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Hit Boy, you recently talked about how Frank Ocean is actually the reason you know for you and Nas linking up. Wow. Um, have you have you had any talks about getting back in that studio with Frank? Nah, I haven't, but I mean, I'm a super fan, man. I've been rocking with bro since way back, man, for sure. That would be nuts, man. Yeah, yeah that'd be. Crazy. That would be nuts. Seventeen songs on the on the big hit project, yes, sir. Features from Mozzie, Snoop, Jay Stone, uh, Jay Worthy, mm-hmm. Dom Kennedy. The list goes on. Killer Shout Tom. out Trey D, man. Oh, yeah, Trey D. Is so is, man. Oh, Come God. on, man. <laughs> that part. The nigga, mm-hmm. quiet. Yeah. Um. I know it had to feel good getting this first project out. How many songs would you say you have recorded at this moment in the seven months you've been out? Probably 400. 400 songs. Maybe more. I'm I'm just, maybe more. Yeah. But I'll say a comfortable 400. Out of working with all the artists you've worked with, what do you see about your pop's creative process that you like, damn, you learning from, you taking from? Um, just the 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 attack like he just like I said earlier he go in like he don't wait so right. I, I've seen the process of somebody coming in trying to get a feature for a song you know they'll play it talk about it like <laughs> big hit he got his phone out 10 seconds in if he hear the beat and it sound hard he going in well you know I love that you know what I mean it's no fear just really like this is what I'm on right now mm-hmm. you know what I mean however take it how you take it yeah uh, any other artists you might do full projects with like you did with Nas like you did with Big Hit I mean, bro, shit, me and uh, Alchemist, we did half and half on the new Benny joint that's dropping next month. That's dropping on January 26th. Look out uh, for that. I mean, bro, I'm open. I'm working, man. Mm. Like, I got uh, I got some cool stuff with the homie uh, Denzel Curry. We got, Shout we to got Denzel. some fire shit. You know, I don't know what's going to happen with what, but, you know, we've been building, um, again, the Alchemist project. We... 
some shit going on. Come but on. Yeah, I, I look forward time. to having y'all up on the show as uh, well. Yeah, that's going to be beautiful. Kanye and Ty dropping before that's, the year's that's up. That's great. I love that, man. I want, man, I thought it was going to drop the other night when we was all we on was the, hype, the live yeah. stream. But I like, uh, you know, obviously Kanye, man. He going to take it there. He going to figure it out every time. Something. They saying this thing going to change music. Well, right, yeah. No, I, I'm, 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 I was hearing some of them sounds, man. I like where they going. And, you know, Ty, I've been, man, I used to, he used to live in a duplex off Washington, bro. And I used to, like, Washington and LeBray, I used to go to his crib and, he was always one of my favorite producers. Like, he had some of the hardest beats. Facts. So I was just, like, you know, a fan of him and Jack Sample, his whole clique. So just to see him get to this point, I'm like, you know, I knew this in 05 that he was one of them dudes, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, the new album is out right now. Big hit, 17 Sorry. tracks. If you go on the website, one more time on the website. Big hit, Noop it. Big, Big hit, Noop it. Dot com. N-U-P-I-D. That's the only place you can get it. No DSPs, just straight off the site. You buying straight from Big Hit, man. It's like, it's off the support, cuff. Support Juggle, the movement. Man, nigga, support dope, the movement. Nigga, I'm selling CDs. <laughs> Out well, the look, trunk. Nigga, with an extra three clip on the motherfucking magazine. That's right. Uh, Grab that magazine. 20 joints. Hey, Do that. Real quick, real quick too. Any, uh, you know, the new year coming. 2024, Kobe, you're on the way. That's right, right. right. Resolutions for y'all. Shit, nah, we trying to keep it pushing. This nah. Business, man, just press on the gas, you know what I'm saying? Get a bigger engine. Mm. Yeah. Straight bigger up. car. Go even yeah. harder. Go even harder, man. Like, that's like, you know, we, we set it up. Nice set up these last, you know, seven months or whatever. But it's like we're going to take it into the overdrive and really take it to that level and make people respect what's going on. That's right, man. Thank you guys for being here tonight. I appreciate you, Thank bro, you for the for continued sure. inspiration. Oh, top, Big man. love to Tell you. my boy Milk, I said, what's the deal, life. man? The life. Come on. I appreciate you coming through. Uh, continued, you know, success and blessings to you both. Love, bro. Uh, have a great holiday and a happy new year, my boys. Thank yeah. to you. Check out that new album. You the already know. is in my eyes, man. In Let's eyes. get it. Right. Rock with it. BigHitNoopit.com. Just like that. Justin Credible's Liftoff Show right here on Power 106. Peace and love.